Well, I just got home from watching uh, Fast or Furious Seven, Fast and, Seventh film in the Fast and the Furious franchise, and overall, um, I was pretty happy with it. It was a pretty fun movie to watch, and I had everybody play the roles pretty well, like usual. Um, people that came back: Vin Diesel, Paul Walker, Michelle Rodriguez, um, Tyrese, Ludacris. Um, Jordana Brewster, The Rock. Uh, no Gal Gadot this time. Uh, I don't know if she was busy doing the Wonder Woman stuff, but oh well. Um, Kurt Russell also had a role in it. Jason Statham was the main bad guy, and if you saw the previous film, he's the brother of the main bad guy in that one, so he was uh, looking for revenge, and man, he was definitely playing his role pretty well he was on top of everything wherever the main crew went usually he was right there behind them but they they uh you know paul walker vin diesel and their crew they had to work with another group with kurt russell to locate a program that his agency was looking for called god's eye which could help track People all over the world with, you know, cam you know, cell phones, ATM cameras, street cameras, things like that, and they helped them find that. He'd help them find Shaw, which they managed to get a hold of, but they also had to do a bit of globe trotting to track it down and get it, and quite a bit of stunts. I mean, you almost might say they're over the top. I don't know where they could go after this, after dropping a bunch of cars out of a plane and actually landing on the road they were wanting to or driving th through a tower out the windows landing in another tower they did that twice and it was fun though it was exciting and you, know, you get a little more story with Michelle Rodriguez from the last one with her memory loss and you know you get little trickles of things coming in and I'm also, some of it was kind of sad because you know Paul Walker passed away and some of the scenes were kind of heading towards him not being around anymore. Uh, his character not being around anymore, but it was pretty good. The ending sequence, uh, pretty good fight scene with Vin Diesel and Statham and... I mean, they're blowing up LA left and right with missiles. Um, taking down cop cars and parking garages and cell phone towers. And it was all pretty crazy, but it was still a lot of fun. And eventually, they kind of set up towards a possible another movie. Which I've read that I think Vin Diesel signed on for another one, possibly. And it interesting to see where they take it, because... Um, obviously Paul Walker can't be part of it. I don't know if they'll try and get like a brother or something to fill in for as a different role. But, I don't know, we'll see. And they had a nice send off there to end to Paul Walker. Um, and his character kind of rode off into the sun, sunset, not really sunset, but he rode off and it was good. It was sad. Definitely go check it out if you've enjoyed the previous movies. I think you'll enjoy this one. Continues the transition, you know, where the first couple movies were a lot about the cars and the characters. And they've moved towards more like the fifth and the sixth one or more heist type films and like crime fighting type uh, movies. But this one, you know, furthers the whole crime fighting thing. And less about just drag racing and racing in general but still fun still a good movie I know Vin Diesel said it probably might win an award but we'll see and we're gonna go see it I'm gonna keep this one short because I think I'm starting to ramble I'll see y'all next time